Hey guys, welcome back to another top five vehicle video here today. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit different from uh, the previous times we have been doing it. This one, I'm just I went into the game and recorded the vehicles, and then I just did a voiceover over the top of all the vehicles after I recorded it. So it might sound a little bit different this time. Let me know in the comment section if you like that new type of format. I'm going to try and bring this back more often, but it does take me a while to record all this, edit and upload and everything like that. Um, but yeah, today we're just going to do like the sort of similar to what we've been doing. So the show you the light setup, the vehicle. Um, this time I'm going to actually drive it around to see what the handling is like, because I haven't done that before. So we're going to do that this time. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And um, let's head on to the first vehicle in this video. So this is the first vehicle we're going to be looking at here today. Um, this one is a red and blue vehicle pack, as you can see. And uh, this is La Crosse, Wisconsin. I believe I said that right, but I did. And uh, yeah, as you can see, red and blue lighting on this vehicle here. It's going to be a Ford Explorer. And uh, there we go. Well, I do like a voiceover today on this, uh, on this video, but here we go. We look at the light setup here. So stage one lighting, got some lights in the back. Nothing on the side, nothing on the front. Stage 2 lighting, got some lights on the front and the back. And then you've got stage 3 all lighting there, as you can see. Looks pretty good. Oh, nearly ran someone over. Um, but there we go. Does look pretty good. Let's look at the interior here. That's what the interior looks like on the uh, in first person when you're driving. Look pretty good. Put the uh, computer over there. Oh, nearly hit someone again. <laughs> but there we go, that looks pretty good. Um, I believe I will do stop here in a second. I do, there we go. That's what the interior looks like now. Does look pretty good. There you go. And yeah, there we go. Back out to the outside. As you can see, it's a um, black and white unit. Got a visor light... Uh, Valor light bar, not a visor light bar. <laughs> Valor light bar. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Gotta love the classic number plate as well. But yeah, let's move on to the next vehicle. There you go, there's a second vehicle here. As you can see, stage one lighting, we're gonna jump straight in, it looks like. <laughs> the stage one lighting, that's the stage two lighting. So you've got some more traffic advisors and some flashy lights on the front. And you've got all the lights in stage three. This is what the vehicle looks like inside. As you can see, it's a uh, 2018 Dodge Charger. I do feel like the um, police computer is a bit too much in your face and it's too huge, I believe, for the vehicle. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I never really normally do first person patrol so it doesn't really affect me that much it's just the exterior what i prefer um clearly i can't drive in this uh i'm recording this what am i doing <laughs> but this is what it looks like when you are sort of patrolling and responding code 3 so looks pretty good i thought i'll switch up this video um and uh do like uh, a driving sort of thing i do uh only do it for the first couple of packs because uh it was uh video was getting quite long so i didn't really do it for the last bit. um the last ones but this is i really cannot drive but there we go it does look pretty good i do like quite quite like this vehicle quite minimal lighting on the back there and i crashed again got to love it but here we go let's move on to the next one so we're moving on to the third vehicle here as you can see stage one lighting there stage two lighting there and then you got stage three lighting so you've got all the lights there looks quite nice in the front i believe um there we go I didn't say at the beginning, all the links in the description down below. Uh, Siren as well. But there we go, that's what the vehicle looks like. It's a um, Ford Explorer here, so FPRU. And uh, as you can see, it's all in black here. Uh, red and blue. And this is what the interior looks like. Um, if I actually installed the handling line, uh, it would be a lot better. So the vehicle doesn't tip around corners. And my hands would be lined, uh, lined it up with the... Lined it up, that's not even a word. Um, lined up with the uh, steering wheel and uh, yeah, not too bad of a vehicle There is some a little bits improvements that you can See that it could be improved, but other than that it does look not too bad Looks like the police computer is pretty much on your lap and that's what the exterior looks like Not many lights. It is an F FBI um, Pack, but anyway, let's move on to number four so guys, the next vehicle we're going to be looking at here is a Can-Am, I believe I'm saying that right, I'll put it on the screen if not. Is stage 1 lighting, just a couple of lights in the back there. Uh, stage 2 lighting, there we go, nothing in the front, and stage 3 lighting, you've got all the lights. 
But yeah, this one's an interesting one. Um, handling line's a bit iffy on it, so don't go too fast on a dirt road. It is a park ranger pack, and um, yeah, it's a bit... <laughs> I quite like it, not gonna lie. It's a bit it's different. I never sort of really showcased a vehicle like this before. This one is made by Rabbit, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is. But it is uh, made by Rabbit. Link in the description, as always. And uh, yeah, it is a very interesting vehicle. I haven't really seen this one before. This is what the interior looks like. Uh, if I can actually look around, there we go. Let's stop the vehicle so it don't crash. Got a police computer there. Got some little bits and bobs in the back there. Light bar in the back. Light bar in the front. My little ones, anyway. But yeah, that's what the vehicle looks like. It looks pretty cool. I do like it. There we go, got little horns there as well, so. Lovely. That's what it looks like. So let's move on to the next pack. So this is a next vehicle in this pack. This one is a Ford F450. Um, it's a humongous vehicle. As you can see, there's the three light setups just there. And uh, it is a Christmas tree on the front of it. Um, and I will go more into depth in a little bit later of uh, the light setup. Um, and the different types of tones it does. Like the, when you change the siren tone, it changes the light pattern, which I do quite like. Um, it's a different vehicle. I've never really seen um, a vehicle on the LSPDFR website of this one. Um, like this sort of size, and um, I don't really think I've ever patrolled in a um, Ford F450. I know like a 250 and a 350, but never a 450. So, yeah, pretty good. That's what the interior looks like. The lights are... Um, swamped out as always but that's what the lights look like so this is the bit what i was on about with the um light setup so when you change different siren tones it changes the lights on like the front that's quite nice i do quite like that and uh yeah that's what the vehicle looks like on the outside but nice side one is there as well which is quite nice and yeah that's going to be the vehicle so uh and there's a take down right let's move on to the next pack the next vehicle pack we're looking at here is a Ford F-150. This was the stage one lighting here. That's what it looks like on the front and the back. Stage two lighting, not much difference. Got a bit more lighting in the front. Stage three lighting, you got all the lights. There we go. So this one, yeah, like I said, is a Ford F-150. Um, this one is a Phoenix um, AL Police Department. Sorry, I'm just reading off of what it says on the LSPDFR website. This is the interior here. I will obviously put it on the screen of what it is. Um, but that's what the interior looks like. Got a little cage in the back, which is pretty cool. Light setup is all blue on this one, and there's some obviously um, traffic advisors in the back. And uh, yeah, this is a work in progress uh, pack as well, so there might be some bits. I swiveled like that just to see how good the handling line was, and it was pretty good. But yeah, let's move on to the next vehicle. The next vehicle we're going to be looking at is a 2005 to 2010 Dodge Charger. As you can see, these are what the different light setup looks like. It is all blue lighting, as all of these vehicles in this pack is all blue lighting. Very nice interior. What you've got to see is the older style Charger interior. Looks pretty good. As you've got all the usual stuff. And then we're just going to drive around to see what it looks like. I do quite like um, all blue on this uh, livery. It looks quite nice as well. Um, but yeah, this one is, like I said, a Dodge Charger. Very nice. I love the sound of the siren through the through the city as well. It's very really nice. But yeah, that's what the vehicle looks like. And uh, let's move on to the next vehicle in this pack. This is what the next vehicle looks like in the pack. This one is a 2005 to 2011 CVPI. Here's all the light setups, as always. Very interesting lights, I think, on stage one and stage two. Stage three looks lovely on the light bar. Love it. Very bright white lights in the front there. Um, but I do love the light setup, how many lights flicker on the light bar. That's really nice. I'll show you when we get through the um, tunnel in a minute on the left here. Looks very nice. I believe I do show it, um, but I do go the interior in a minute. But I do like when you press a horn as well that all lights turn um, solid, which is quite nice. And then you've got the green dash as well when you turn the uh, dash lights on, which is nice. I thought I showed the lights through the. Oh, there you go. As you can see there, 
looks very nice do love it see the interior it looks amazing and yeah so that's the vehicle let's move on to the next one this is the next vehicle in the pack this is a 2021 Ford Explorer very nice do like the Ford Explorers now the um 2021s it sort of grown on me at the beginning i didn't really like them that much but this is what the livery looks like on the outside more in detail here on this one stage one lighting got every single light possible i think on the back <laughs> stage two lighting got a little bit more and some more on the front there and then stage three lighting you got all lights there we go that's very nice got some nice side runners as well the white and blue just finishes it off very nice um would be nice if you can get a law friendly livery on this and i might be able to use it in my uh lspr videos but this is the interior looks very nice quite high detail actually very nice there we go let's just drive off a little bit to see what it looks like but yeah you can obviously change the audio sound for the um vehicle in the settings if you need to but there we go and i do like when you press a horn like like i said previous all the lights stay on So yeah, you can actually even see the mirror, the mirrors reflecting as well, which is nice. There we go. That's what the vehicle looks like, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the next vehicle and see what that one is. This is the next vehicle we're going to be looking at here today. As you can see, this is a Dodge Charger, one of the newer shapes, um, 18 to 22, I believe it is. But very nice indeed. This is the interior here nice indeed do, do like the interior it's quite nice on this one there we go got all the uh, police const police stuff that you need stage one lighting that's what it looks like stage two lighting and then stage three lighting there we go i'm not much of a fan of the lights in the back window because i don't know they look fake <laughs> i don't know maybe it might be my graphics mod i don't know but the light bar looks totally fine but the lights in the back window and the reversing lights they look a bit naff but you know looks pretty looks all right otherwise other than that um, the horn with the all the lights displaying looks lovely but yeah there we go and that's what the vehicle looks like so let's move on to the next one this is the next vehicle i believe this one is a 2016 to 19 explorer as you can see this is a livery sort of a darker livery on this one um might be the newer style or the older style there is two different styles this is the interior on this one looks pretty good as you would expect hands lined up with the steering wheel which is nice stage one lighting here stage two lighting not much difference on the back but some more on the lights on the front and then all the lights there we go very nice indeed let's just uh, drive around and see what it feels like for handling handling feels not bad let's see if we can squeeze through the traffic there we go um not much of a fan of the uh, visor lights flashing as well but you know i believe you probably could turn that off by pressing k and then you got obviously the horn there as well which is nice with the steady lights on the whole time here we go let's move on to the next vehicle and see what that one looks like next vehicle we're going to be looking at here is a 14 dodge charger and uh, this is what the vehicle looks like as you can see by the previous one and this one this one's a lighter livery got the newer and older style stage one lighting as you can see there stage two lighting quite nice it's more on the front and then stage three lighting all the lights looks like you got window tint but i did turn that off and there is no window tint so that's probably how dark it is uh, for everyone and this is what the interior looks like so it looks like no interior no tint really on the interior but on the exterior it looks like it's very heavy tinted you can't see nothing in <laughs> but that's what the vehicle looks like let's move around the traffic and see what the handling looks like and feels like i love the light bar love how the lights set up love how it's all blue very nice as you know if you watch my videos um all blue lighting is my favorite lighting setup on a vehicle on a police vehicle there we go that's what the interior looks like when you're driving looks quite nice and yeah there we go that's what it is let's move on to the next one this is one of the older style chevy tahoes as you can see here got the um, lighter livery on this one Driver, this is the 
don't mind that stupid AI pursuit going on. <laughs> but yeah, that's the um, nice livery on this one. Older style Tahoe, not my favourite vehicle, but you know, still I'll show it for you as it is in the pack. There is quite a lot of vehicles in this pack. Nice interior there. We've got so many lights on this, it's unbelievable how many lights on the back. Stage 2 lighting, there we go. And stage 3 lighting, you've got all the lights. There you go, look at that. Like a Christmas tree, this one. There you go. So, let's um, drive around and see what the handling is like on this one. Not too bad. Drive around here and see what it feels like. And yeah, that's pretty much that vehicle there. Looks quite nice too. Like I said, love um, how it's all blue lighting. But yeah, let's move on to the next one and see what that one is today. So this one is the same sort of one as previous, a older style Tahoe, but this one has a cane. This one is a canine unit, I should say. Uh, pretty much the same interior and everything, just a little bit different in the back there for a canine to be in there, which is quite nice. So yeah, pretty much same light setup, stage one lighting there, stage two lighting, not much difference. And then stage three lighting, you got all the lights. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's drive around and see what the uh, handling line is like on this one. Seems pretty good. Yeah, nice um, vehicle to do a canine patrol in, and maybe in the future, you never know. And but yeah, that's what the vehicle looks like. Looks very nice. And uh, let's move on to the next one and see what that one looks like in this video. So we're looking at the new pack here. This one is a Los Angeles Sheriff's Department pack. Um, so it goes straight to code three lighting on this one. It's one of the older style vehicles here. Not one of my favorite vehicles. And for some reason it's using the FBI siren. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Is the interior not that fancy at all? But there you go. Weird siren, I know. <laughs> But that's what that vehicle looks like so let's move on to the next one so this is the older style tahoe here this is the black and white unit one as we as you can see in the background that was the unmarked one there you go stage one lighting got some traffic advisors in the back stage two lighting got some more lights in the front and stage three you got all the lighting there we go got a lot of the british accent coming along here in a second on the sidewalk no way i don't believe you <laughs> love it and the uh, interior looks a bit meh but you know not too bad and um, it's probably going to be the last um vehicle that we're going to be uh, driving around still on the um fbi fbi um siren but you know um as we're wrapping it up and i have been recording pretty much nearly all day it feels like so let's move on to the next vehicle this is the next vehicle here. This one is the FPIU, one of the newer styles, black and white unit, as you can see. Looks very nice. Very close to uh, what they got in real life, looks like. I'm not sure exactly if they are dead on to what they are meant to be looking like. Um, but there we go, there's the light set up on this one. Interesting light set up on the front there, looks sort of interesting. Yeah, that's what that vehicle looks like. And let's move on to the next vehicle in this pack. Beep, beep. So this is, one, this is the next vehicle in this pack. This one is a Crown Vic, as you can see. It's got the older style light bar on the top, as you can see there. Which I quite like, actually. Not too bad. Interior, quite plain, like you would expect. Got the uh, green lights on the dash, which is nice. Let's have a look at the light setup. Stage 1 lighting, traffic advisor, which is bright as hell. Stage 2 lighting coming up, there it is. And then we've got the stage 3 lighting for all the lights. Very nice. Still the FBI, use, um, FBI sound, but let's move on to the next one. Here is the next one. This one is a unmarked Dodge Charger, probably an 18 looking um, style. I believe this one goes just goes straight to code 3 lighting. There you go. Very minimal lighting on this one, as it is probably like an unmarked, um, sort of like a stealth unit pos possibly, I'm not 100% sure, but very nice, still the uh, FBIU siren, I think they all got the FBIU siren, F 
B I U. I think I'm saying that right. I'm saying it too many times. It feels like it's not the right thing anymore. <laughs> That's the interior. Interior looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next vehicle. This one's the next one. Another um, well, it's a canine unit. This one is. It's quite nice. Newer style vehicle here. Here's the interior. Not too bad. Quite plain. You've got the gun mounts there. You can see speed radar. Stage one lighting here. Stage two lighting, not much on the but different on the back, but some more on the front. And stage three lighting, you got all the lights. Looks pretty do good. And yeah, as is, as I said, it's a canine unit, which is very nice. And uh, let's move on to the next vehicle. So this is the next vehicle, a um, Ford Taurus. Completely forgot the name of it then. A really long break. <laughs> stage one lighting. Stage two lighting. And then stage three lighting there. I don't know how I forgot the name of that because this is one of my favorite vehicles in real life. <laughs> Four tourists, love them. There we go, there's the interior, quite standard. And yeah, that's what the vehicle looks like. And let's move on to the next vehicle. Beep, beep. This is the next vehicle in the pack, one of the really older style uh, vehicles here one of the very older ones even got the old light bar stage one lighting got some lights in the back and the front stage two lighting got some more lights quite steady lights and then stage three lighting you got all the lights look at that very nice i like how the fog lights flash at the front as well it's nice cool beans still the fbi um fbi siren it's been a long day. Right, let's move on to the next vehicle in this pack. It's the next vehicle in this pack. Very nice indeed. I quite like this one. So it's going to be an unmarked vehicle here. As you can see, quite a long vehicle this one. Now I believe it goes straight to code 3 lighting, so no code 1 or 2. There you go. Still the FBI. FBI, yeah, FBI uh, siren. I keep saying that so many times now, it feels like it's not the right thing to say. But there we go, that's what the interior looks like. And yeah, that's about it on that vehicle. Let's move on to the next one. So this is going to be the last vehicle in this pack and the last vehicle in this video. It's going to be a 2014 around that area um, Dodge Charger. The light bar on this one's quite dim, so you can't really see much of it. But still looks good. And that's all the lights there turned on. So yeah interesting interior though that this the color of the um interior but yeah that's what the vehicle looks like and yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys so that's gonna conclude the video hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe be very appreciated and hit that bell notification so you get notified when i upload another video like this um, and let me know in the comment section which was your favorite vehicle in this video and yeah, other than that, guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video.